Oh, those pesky projects. They're so rough to deal with. Everyone's got a project, whether it's at your job, at home, in your own business, in somebody else's business. You gotta manage projects. And lucky for you, with our software project template, you can build one extremely easy and fast. Let's jump right into it. A project tracker is essentially a place where companies can have an overview of the status of all the projects to ensure great planning by making sure everything is progressing as it should and anticipate problems. It also serves to manage tasks related to each project. This improves communication in a team greatly as everyone can see how each project is going and what everyone is doing at any given time. To get started with your own project template, make sure to check out the link down below and go to software.io slash templates slash project hyphen tracker to get started. As with all of our templates, you can preview them with the various user group options that we have, like a manager or employee, and you can use the template completely for free. Press use template connected to a data source. In this case, I'm gonna use Airtable, and then I'm gonna copy the base to my Airtable account. And last but not least, I'm going to click create application. Take a quick sip of coffee while it creates. Delicious as always. Now in a quick moment, it is going to populate and you'll be able to edit the way that this works. But I'm sure you're asking at this point, what are the differences between the two user groups inside of this template? First of all, what you're gonna to need to do to test this out is go to the preview section and click on explore this template using the two different magic links. The one you created is gonna be customizable. However, for the manager, as you can see right here, they are able to at first see this project list and filter to the different projects based off the progress status. So we could have complete be filtered to, so none of them are complete. Mm -hmm kind of delayed. Then we have in progress, to do, and uh, last but not least, we can, if we wanted to, search. So we can do product hunt, type it in there, and then this would be the only project that shows. Now, using this template, you can easily click inside of it and see the various information that the project has to offer. So we have the status, the start date, deadline, and then the owners of it. And you can actually edit this by pressing edit project and adjust who the owners are, what the value is, and change any of the information within it very easily. And then you'll see the project team on the bottom, which is really cool. The design lead, the finance lead, the different project managers, the CEO is on this project, so it's kind of a big deal. The account manager, and then on the top right, you'll see what department they're a part of. And at the bottom, we see the specific tasks associated to this project. And we can add new tasks by clicking here or by typing into this form. Now, we'll see in the back end that on the homepage, when it comes to actions, the button visibility shows that the only way to add a new project is if you are a manager, so employees can't. And then in the project details, the edit button as well for the project is only for managers. Not the same can be said for the tasks as if we add a task here, we'll see that all users can do it. And then for this form, the visibility does show all users. What's really cool about this form, however, is if you submit a new task in the form, you have hidden fields. So these hidden fields will actually show you, if you click on it, that it'll automatically map to the project that you're already working in. And it will also map to the task assignee. So that's gonna give you the name of the person that's signed in. And then the status is by default gonna be to do since it is a new task as well. I love hidden fields, I think they're great. And the task management side inside of these projects is actually very easy to use. And something really cool to note is if we go into any of these different tasks, there's actually a team discussion board, which is associated to, as you can see back here, the task comments base. So if I were to leave a comment as to how great somebody did work-wise, it would actually pop up within my software database. And if you're wondering what ends up happening here, it actually does map the commenter ID as the person's submitting the comment so you can see who left it and it will automatically map to the task that is within this task details. When it comes to the actions button here, all logged in users can actually edit the task. It's not limited to just the managers here. And from an overall standpoint, if we go to these task pages, we actually have two options. We can see them from a list view or we can filter them by the status, 
the specific project, the assignee, or just do a search. And we can actually view them in a Kanban view. So for example, beep boop on the task can get moved to review by just dragging it over to the right or any of the other ones. And then all these different tasks can be filtered to the specific person. But a really nice addition to this would be if you wanna customize this yourself, I would go to the task list. And if I wanted to, I can make that Kanban view actually the same as this one, because as you notice, the list view was showcasing all tasks, but you can set it up for it to only show my tasks. So for example, tasks assignee email is the logged in user's email. I won't actually see this because the way it's set up in the template is that the visibility for my tasks is only for employees and the visibility for managers shows all tasks. But you could make it so that the managers also see their own tasks because, well, I mean, they're gonna have their own tasks too. So it's all up to your preference. And if you wanna know more about the different aspects of tasks and have a better overview of everything, I would definitely recommend looking at the calendar view as it's gonna have a nice showcase of the timelines of the different projects. You can filter it to the specific owner and see just those tasks. You can change it to be a week view, day view, month view, and search the name. And if you wanna get an overview of your different teammates overall, you can go to the team directory, which is an awesome page, where I then can go and look at, for example, all the cool information about Mr. Weber here, see his contact information, his title, and see what projects he's involved in. And on the employee side, you're gonna be able to see very similar things. However, it's just gonna be more of a personal view for things like my tasks, I really like this template because it is an extremely interconnected template where I can go into any of these projects quickly and then see the key stakeholders that are a part of it, see the tasks that are a part of it, get the key information, and then add anything as needed or update the system if I'm a manager and can update the different information required to showcase that this thing is done. Pro tip for the calendar view, if you want to, you can adjust the view a little bit. So if I click on this, go to content, you can adjust the date format. You can have it be more US friendly. You can have the start week start on a Monday or a Sunday. Make sure to adjust that based on what the majority of your team members are so that less people are confused. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this template. It's an awesome one. It's one that has allowed many people to manage their projects inside of Softer. Get started building your project management system today and make sure to check out more videos like this one on how to improve your software skills even more.